Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiser of the Soviet Union, well, soon to be Soviet Union right now, we are still just the good old-fashioned Russian Republic, but hopefully, major peasant unrest. Okay. Uh, I, again, I'm saving after every single event, because I just don't want to screw anything up. So, major peasant unrest. Uh, we don't want to lose stability, so we're going to agree to the peasant's demands. Hopefully, we don't get cooed by the, uh... Reform the Navy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just don't let me be cooed. I'm not too sure if the if the um, Social Democrats can be cooed. The clergy are being a little bit upset, but that's fine. It's not like I... You know, I haven't banned the Orthodox religion or anything like that. So, just shut up and let me do my, uh, let me do my work. So, so, so. Where do we actually want to do? Once we become... Russia or become the Soviet Union. I believe the expansion paths are essentially the same as these ones. You know, push towards the Caucasus, push our way into uh, Central Asia, push our way into uh, take back Vladivostok. I think Japan is our last target. After Germany's been defeated, after we've taken back all of our European territories, then we can worry about what we're going to do with Japan. Because I think Japan. Hopefully, at that point, it's going to be bogged down in a war with the, um, in, in China. Maybe there'll also be a war with the Dutch East Indies, and as, as such, be a war with either the Entente or the German Empire. I mean, hopefully, Germany will be defeated by this point, but still. I guess we also have to go and have to defeat the Canadians, huh? Almost certainly, yes. We have to evade our way into Vancouver, which kind of sucks. But what we can do is once we, you know, of course, win in Europe, we'll try to send troops from, say, Scotland to Quebec City, and then also do invasion of Vancouver, basically attack them on both fronts. Or if we're extremely lucky, uh, the CSA will just outright win the American Civil War. And if that's the case, I don't have to worry about it, because I can almost guarantee that the CSA probably will not necessarily join our faction, but... We'll hopefully go to war with the Canadians. And that is just as good for us. We don't know exactly what's going to happen here. Italy. I do know they've changed Italy. So now if Italy attacks two Sicilies, it does not call in the rest of uh, the international. So Britain to France will not, not get um, involved in a war in Italy. So it does make the international probably a little bit weaker. Um... Than it would otherwise be. These will be done tomorrow. Thank you. And we've got our army modernization. That seems pretty good. Well, it's still 1936. Is there anything I can get within the next... I mean, how many months? That's, that's two months. It's like 60... 90 days, roughly. Well, we definitely need motorized. There's no question about that. We will need it at some point. And you know what? Might as well start going down the... Uh, the, the Doctrine Tree. We're definitely going to go for Mass Assault, obviously. think it's for the best. Probably just War of Numbers, right? What's Divided Military Staff? What do they do? The Lance... Okay, so that's actually... That's a pretty bad penalty. But this is still 136 days. Is that with the penalty? Or does the penalty not go for the first level? It might not affect the first level. We can get a bonus infantry weapons and support equipment. Because everything we research here should carry over to the Soviet uh, Union. We yeah, definitely want war on numbers. Russia has the manpower where you can essentially flood Europe with troops. And that's that's my that's my plan here. My war plan. And I believe it should work out pretty, pretty well. I don't know why the lines are not showing up here right now. I will be honest. I have sa saved and reloaded the game. Because I did have to go to class in between um, recording episodes. So I might even have to go between this episode and the next episode. Change my mods around. Because apparently maybe... Probably one of them got updated while I was at school. Which kind of changed these things around. Maybe with like, uh, 
I'm not, I'm not too sure what's happened, to be honest. Um, just displeasure among common people. Uh, again, saving after every decision. I don't want to restart this whole thing if I, if I screw it up. But I'm going to say things should stay as they are. Negative 20% stability. It's fine. Unless it's not fine. But we'll, we'll find out eventually. We got, still got political instability. Negotiate with the peasants until the 20th of August of next year. Quite a while. Okay, 25 political power. Nothing bad is happening. We're all good. We are rallying public support. We're at 21 party popularity. And that should boost up to 5, which gives us a little bit more stability, I believe. Yeah. Hopefully it gives us even, you know, 1%. I would take I would take 1% at this point. I just don't... I'm, I'm done being in the negatives. It affects so many things that we need to get done. Like, look how awful our production efficiency cap is. 24% right now. Actually garbage. We do an extra military factory. Immediately put that into rifles. We need guns. We're missing 15,000 rifles right now, which I would say is pretty bad. Uh, that's my professional opinion on that. Jack Reed's been elected to the President of the United States. Okay. So, hopefully, he will boost up to CSA's power. I mean, it does guarantee a four-way civil war. MacArthur, he's going to lose. Uh, there's absolutely no... Oh. There's absolutely no way he's going to win that war. Again, I've never seen MacArthur win. I just, I almost don't even think it's actually physically possible for the AI to actually pull it off. Like, do I, what if I change your color? No, that does not fix the fact that you cannot see uh, the, the attack lines. I even delete these plans. There we go. Yeah, very strange. I'm not too sure exactly what happened, but okay. Oh, Norway's joining the international. Fantastic. Um. So hopefully, I mean, we do have a sh we do have a united border. So we should then hopefully kill off the Swedish and the Finns. Um, they did go for the conservative majority, so they're absolutely not going to go for the um. The international, Finland, if they're national, so if they're not, not if they're a national populist, can they join the Reichs Pact? I mean, probably, right? I don't know where that actually is in here, though. It might actually be a decision and not actually, yeah, I think, in the focus tree. Rebellion succeeds. Oh no, I think, actually, I think National Populist means that they're not going to join up with the Germans. Okay, so they're actually going to be an easy target once the war comes. They only have like 16 divisions and I have uh, 24 already on their border. And I can easily send more troops up if I have to. Because the Don Cuban Union and Central Asia, I don't believe are really going to be massive threats to our power. Okay, so our war numbers will be done soon. Cheaper infantry equipment. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think. Because if we're going to switch out of being Russia, we're going to lose all of these, um, what are they called again? National spirits. So we kind of want to focus, I think, on getting technology up as fast as possible. Because again, the country is not stabilized. This is, we're still not considered a, a stable republic. Maybe sometime in 1937 we'll be able to get there, but looking a little bit tricky. We'd be done in 70 days. It sucks that Russia has so many long focuses. I mean, some of these ones are a little bit cheaper, but. Well, I mean, what would he actually get with a 100% research boost? 
we would be able to probably research at least one more of these stacks, hopefully, before the, uh, the tag switch. I mean, maybe we got 30 days. 30 days. And then the modifier doesn't kick in for 45 more days, though. That might be, wait, is that right? 55 days? Either way, it's going to be longer than the 30. We could just save up our research points. So they do store for an extra 30 days, which I believe is just enough time for the focus to finish. And then we immediately start researching. Probably just improved infantry equipment one. For extra soft attack. Okay, we're 26 party popularity. Is that enough for a stability boost? Absolutely not. Maybe I could get maybe it has to be above 50%. I'm not too sure where this has to be for us to get any stability bonuses out of it. But clearly we're not at that uh we're not at that point yet. So we got our economic depression. Is there anything I can even do about that? Like you nothing happens here until we stabilize the country. So all we can do is Try to modernize the army as much as humanly possible. Got a bonus to AM06. That's the thing that we're researching. Okay, so that's actually... It might not be worthless. It might just go up to the um, the next level of truck. But otherwise, it's kind of garbage. Okay, radical. With currency assassination, it's a uh, dissolution of the SR. Had a coalition. I mean, a new, a new syndicalist block. No, don't keep a close eye on them. Let them do their own thing. So that we can become the Soviets. It's already 1937. The government has not stabilized. We still got the guy we need in charge. We've done with austerity. And with that, I'm hoping... Uh, 37 days. You're done in 35 days. Okay, so that's actually fine. Um... We want to research something fast. 114 days. I think that's basically as fast as we can get. You know, our manpower is still kind of low. We are on volunteer only. Volunteer only with um, how many men are already in the field? 1.9, 1.19 million in the field already. Seems pretty good. Like we're not missing any manpower. We're missing yeah, but. 15,000 rifles, a little bit of artillery, and a little bit of support equipment, but the early wars we're going to be having, they, they, they won't be able to challenge us. We'll just, we just have the numbers. Even if everybody doesn't have a rifle, it's okay. You're going to purchase Russian grain? I refuse to give you anything, because I'm going to invade you. Unless... 100th anniversary of Pushkin's death. 2% stability... Thank you very much. It almost makes up for the fact that the syndicalists are uh, doing some shenanigans in our country. Again, shenanigans is not what you want. But shenanigans nonetheless. Still got a week until you're finished. So as soon as that's done, we should be able to switch over from the ammo 6. Military factories keep on just making more rifles. And... Kind of look here. We're at least, at least have factories we can use to build. You'll be here until March 29th. You're here until August. You're here until April. So, I mean... The depression and the instability... Still very much ongoing. Yes, air bases, they do not... They, they definitely will not be taken away once we, uh... Switch tags, I believe. So we definitely want that one first. Trucks will be done in 10 days. Finland has requested grain. Uh, the approach is uh, to Ukraine. It's never a sphere of influence. No longer a viable option. No, give me the political power. I don't want to help out Finland for the obvious reason that I'm going to go and kill them. It seems like it's against our best interest. Still can't change any of this. You guys, I don't believe will do any. I don't even actually. Will switching even the economy stuff do anything for us? I don't believe so. 
So I don't know if there's anything I can really do with my political power right now. Because once we take Switch, I believe all of, like, this stuff, all of our laws and ministers would just get automatically reset. Okay, so Serbia has a new king. Again, not a huge deal for us. I mean, there's election in June of 1937. Maybe. Maybe that's when we'll have a, a stable republic. We've removed it. We've, we're no longer politically in, uh, unstable. 15% stability. America's in a standoff. VVSR, get out of here. Garbage. The Republic has survived. So, CSA. Do I like any of these people? I'm actually most friendly with the American Union state. But the Republic has survived. You got our ammo, and of course, the second revolution. So this will be done in 70 days. Is there anything I can research in 70 days? 61, 61, let's go for the anti-air. We can research it in time. The other stuff will not be finished, unfortunately. So actually, it might be worth switching over. As long as it's less than 68 days. So I, again, I believe anything here will be transferred. 152, 152, 114. I mean, most things I don't think. 76, you're close, but just not quite. I mean, you can do something strange like um, 152 days. Yeah, no, I don't think I don't think there's anything we can do that's faster than kind of failing on this. But that's okay. We have 65 more days till the second revolution has completed. So now it's really time for us to start looking for who we're going to want to attack. I mean, our stability is, I was going to say decent. It's just not negative 30 anymore. However, I mean, most of the stuff will disappear anyways. The economic depression, it might linger on. Do a bureaucratic overhaul. What did it do for cooperative capitalism? We have to empower the Duma. Okay. Do the democratic. I mean, we're not going to do any of these things because, again, our tape's going to change. I'm assuming one of these would have, um, would remove political, uh, or economic instability and depression. But it's fine. We don't got to worry about any of that now. Now our focus is very much on, um, Will our army disappear? I don't know. I can't send any volunteers to uh, Jack Reed quite yet. Of course we're going to want to. I think once we are the Soviet Union itself, we probably want to send some troops over. Preferably, do we have tanks? No, we have no tanks in our army whatsoever. Okay. Second American Civil War has begun. I could send volunteers. I can send three troops. We'll send three troops off of the Japanese front, because I feel like that's probably, like, the least important of the fronts. I mean, at least... I mean, division defense? Cavalry leader? Not bad. We got a lot of cavalry leaders, huh? We got an infantry leader here. With a bone. You know what? We'll put you in charge. No, wait. The, the, infantry, the other lead, infantry leader is probably better, right? 3322. As opposed to... um, Your 2122. But you do got more planning speed. And your promotion costs are cheaper. So you probably actually be better in the long run. So... Give you an infantry expert. So now you're good at defense and attack. So I think you're definitely good to go to send these troops over to the CSA. Uh, send in these three divisions. What's our goal going to be? Well, probably try to take Washington or push the federal government out of Maine. But it already looks like they're in a pretty bad spot. And the CSA already looks like they have the most troops. So that seems pretty good for us. But do I think they arrive in Chicago. Even though it makes much more sense that they probably arrive in like Philadelphia. But anyways... It's either we push away to Washington and immediately kill the um, 
the federal government by just trying to take Washington. Or we go to the north, clean up this territory in the hope that we're basically just removing one of their front lines. One of those has to be one of those has to happen. Oh, they did actually arrive in Pennsylvania. Okay, cool. So Yeah, again the lines are not showing up properly. I am more than likely gonna restart uh and see what the issue is. I'm assuming it's probably just like one of my mods is not working. 100% like it's supposed to. You guys are actually just abandoning New York City. Yeah, go to New York City, please, and thank you. I'll attack these guys to make sure they do not arrive. CSA, please uh, make your way over. Can you march in this province away around? No, you cannot, but that's fine. Again, your point was not to attack these guys. It was just purely to be a defensive front. You are getting out more and more men. New York City has a lot of um, militia, and that's why we're trying to give it to Reed. Well, you should be pretty defensive. Because our troops are just better than theirs are. Especially their militias, I should say. Like, the regular infantry divisions are going to be pretty okay as well. What's, what's your problem? You're voting. I don't care about British voting rights. I, I can tell you that. They don't matter in the slightest to me. We can, let's look and probably put some troops in the north. Okay, so we did get our anti-air guns. So that means... Yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to research anything in um, two days or in like a week. We'll see what happens. We'll see if these guys actually just get sent home. Where's my third division? You're still over here. Please come to the further up north. So I'm just going to try to help out the CSA kind of clean up this uh, territory here. That's my goal. I mean, I might as well start picking something, just in case it still uh, carries over, even though I don't believe it will. I do believe it gets reset no matter what. Do they have a troop here, do you think? No, they don't. So we're going to keep on marching. The workers have arisen in the Russian Soviet Republic. They're just, they're not, okay, so they're just actually kind of stuck. So did I lose all my men? 89 divisions, Bukharin's in charge. No, I did not. They just got unassigned. Am I researching stuff? No, okay, that did absolutely get reset. Not surprised by that, though. What I can probably have to do... It might be a bit strange. Because you're not... Are you still considered volunteers, or are you just considered here now? I do believe you're just kind of considered here. Okay, well, first things first, put in a field marshal. Six, I mean, seven, three, four, two. Yeah, definitely put you in charge here. We will put in... I mean, again, we only have infantry divisions. So, like, panzers... Wait, who's in, um... You're fighting in Finland. You can have the guy that's good in the snow. You're gonna be fighting down in the south. I don't have any cavalry divisions, I believe. Infantry officer, put you in charge. You guys are still on the border here. You will be on this front. We will assign... Who has the cavalry divisions? You have some of them. So, you know, we'll put the cavalry division guy into you. Uh, we will assign you to this front. have you guys here and you I want you know let's go for the 4-3 and then we're going to basically send the volunteers again it should still work though it's going to be a bit strange because they have to kind of leave and come back I'm not too sure but I do believe this is going to be a good time to end this episode so thanks everybody for watching my anthem if you enjoyed my thumbs up not enjoy call you something down want to see more subscribe and goodbye